Okay, let me just double check. Everything's recording. We're good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Semi Perfect Podcast here on this day. I'm using a Mac and I don't know where the date is. It is yes, the 12th. Is it the 12th? Wait, what Laura said. That's good. Thank you, Laura. It is July 12th. 2017 here on this Wednesday evening. Thank you all for joining us here as we get ready to go. I am the producer tonight, which means if this thing goes down in a ball of flames, don't be surprised. It's already kind of started that way as I, of course, was having some audio issues of which Sarah totally shouldn't have, or totally set up for me to not have issues, yet I managed to still have them. Um, Joining us here tonight, we got Paleo. Hello. Hero Sashi. Hey, hello. And on the same mic tonight, Saber Spark and Laura. Yo, 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 yo. Hey. And joining us here soon enough should be Sarah as well as Gabe. They both should be here. And then possibly Panama Matt also will be joining us here tonight. Now, I'm kind of bummed that Sarah could be here for at least the start of things because I know there were a couple of topics that she was interested in hitting up as we go through this podcast, but uh, she shouldn't be here too too late into the podcast, but we'll uh, certainly hit up some of those topics when she gets in. Now, I know that uh, Saber, you, you have some work to do because you're working on a video right now. Yeah, it's it's been a busy week, and I got a good early tonight to take care of a video, but um, yeah, that's that's my night. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure I'm back in full force two weeks from now. Nice. And uh, how's your week been? Anything new? Anything come up in the, over the last two weeks? Well, I'm officially living in Virginia. Nice. Hooray! Moved up to a little college town near my girlfriend, and... Um, uh, Laura, this week, last week, got a kitty cat. I did. I got a little new kitten. Uh oh. Yeah. What's its name? Her name's Daenerys. It was already that when we got yes. her, actually, too, which is pretty awesome. Daenerys. Yeah. It's from Game of Thrones. <laughs> well, that worked out for you guys. <laughs> Daenerys. And then, um, and then, um, uh, we call her Danny for short. Yeah, Danny. So when you guys are hungry, you'll eat Daenerys. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Did, you know what? We're, we're, we're leaving for the night. Thank you for coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Paleo, what's new with you? Hi, Paul. Um, can, so you guys can hear me all right, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Chat saying they can barely hear myself and Laura on their end. Uh, is it yeah. just you guys they can't hear, or is it Paleo yeah, and Hirosashi? If, if it's just them, just uh, turn Saber's mic up on Discord. Like, right right click it and just uh, turn his. his oh, his I can mic do that? Up. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, I, yeah, I have Saber at like 200% right now because apparently uh, before I just couldn't hear him that well. Really? Uh, uh, let's see. How, okay, user volume. Okay. Yeah, just turn them up like all the way. All right, so try that, Saber. See if that if people like that. All right. Well, hopefully, folks can hear us. I guess we'll find out. Um, yep. I know you sound better on my end. You were you were quiet. I didn't realize that was something I could adjust. Uh, so cool. Happy to hear about the move. And now you're you guys are nearby. You also got a kitten. So that's super sweet. Uh, and then Paleo, what uh, what's new with you, man? What's up? Um, no, uh, not much. Um, probably gonna do some more movie reviews here soon because um, uh, I just did a few more movie reviews. I did um, review on the uh, Spider-Man movie that came out, and uh, this this week, uh, War for the Planet of the Apes comes out. So I'm like, really excited for that. Are you a fan of uh, that trilogy? Yeah, yeah. Like it's. Like probably the best like prequel trilogy ever, um, and then uh, I also did a review on the the new Castlevania series that uh, came out on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Uh, that that's that was really interesting. Nice, sweet. So you've been busy with your review videos and whatnot. Yep. Cool. Hirosashi, what's new with you? 
Nothing. He's dead. He's muted. <laughs> yeah, he was going to get food, so he's not actually at home right now. What? Why? Did, what's What's he getting? <laughs> what is he eating? I need to know because I'm starving. Like, like, close to death starving. I haven't eaten since... One. That's five hours ago. Man. Speaking of food, uh, how about we take a look at the food post here tonight. Um, uh, while I pull these up, I myself, uh, the last two weeks, let's see, um... Fourth of July came and went, so that was a that was a grand old time. Had a night of destruction. We went through, survived another one. Knock on wood. Um, amongst uh, a whole bunch of other good stuff. Fourth uh, of July went out to Disneyland. It was incredibly packed. It took me I yeah longer than I've ever had to uh, to get out of Disneyland. It was it was just a madhouse to leave. Because everyone's like, all right, tomorrow's the school day. Well, actually, it probably wasn't a school day, but it was a work day. So, yeah, it was just a madhouse. Um, but it was still fun. It was, uh, it was a good time. Um, other than that, went to Crystal Mountain Pony Con, which once Gabe's in here a little bit later on, we'll, uh, we'll discuss a bit and fill you in on some of the stuff that went on there. Um, have some vlogs that are going to be coming out over the next few days for that, and yeah, so should be uh, should be a fun next couple of weeks. But the last two have been pretty decent, just kind of getting some Bronies rank stuff in order and, and amongst other things. So yeah, so let's see. I, I'm very curious to see if we have food posts. I I am hungry. I am ready for the food posts. Let's see here. What do we got? Uh, start off. The first one I see is Drummer Shy's got. What does he got? At a restaurant. Ooh. Dang. Drummer Shy's going all out. Using up that data. Let's go. <laughs> He's got like <laughs> some kind of stew soup thing and crackers, and then I, like salad, thing. Right? No, it's not salad. It's you don't really see salads too often, do you, Race? I don't. I don't know how to <laughs> quite identify whatever that is. But it's a. Uh, it's I it's a sandwich. Is it a sandwich? It's like a the like shrimp. Well, I don't need shrimp either, so I'm in trouble here. I... The harder you're having to identify this salad, the faster I hear Sarah driving it's not, on. It's not a salad. It's... <laughs> 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 it's California. She's going like seven miles an hour. That's true. That's true. Uh, Nora, Nora's got some skinny pop popcorn as she tunes in. Dude, the... skinny pop is so good. What kind? I don't get non-GMO. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah. No artificial ingredients. It's like, why? Why not? <laughs> Come on. Kayla and I were talking about GMOs a few days ago, and how it's like. I mean, like, silly how folks go on the bandwagon. Like, yeah, GMOs are bad. And Pele made a good point. He said, if you ever meet a person like that, ask them what does GMO stand for and watch them shit their pants. <laughs> what does it stand for? Jubilee. Monica. Oh, it's a genetically <laughs> modified organism, I think. <laughs> oh. Oh, gee, silent. Oh, sweet. Uh, Jory has posted a Coke. That's nice. Ross Pitt says, eating this <laughs> mess while watching the Semi-Perfect Podcast. The mess looks, I don't know what it is, but it looks good. It looks like we got some form of a cookie thing and I think pizza and the podcast in the background. So that's awesome. Uh, Norse posted pork pie and Coke tonight. Would have pizza, but mom accidentally threw it out. Thanks, mom. She accidentally threw out a pizza. <laughs> That's mom. Me like she just ate it. Come on, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. I don't know where it went. And then uh, Kruber says, I'm eating lemon Italian ice and Canadian bacon. It's pretty rad. Nice. I respect it. Yeah, no, that's that's different, but totally, 
totally acceptable. Um, so now I'm even more hungry. Jeez. I realized I didn't have any lunch items, so I made soup today when it's 106 degrees out. So, <laughs> well, well it, I, I learned the trick. The, the soup was so hot that I had to take it outside and it suddenly felt cooler. That's how it works. Shut up, Dad. Okay. So, do, people, do people eat pizza and cookies together? I, I think I've heard that that's like a combination that people do. Like, at yeah, the same yeah, time? Or just, like... It just seems like it wouldn't go together, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, Cook- I, that, that's fine. Hey, Gabe. Hi. Cookies hi, going hi, with hi. a lot. What's up? Hey. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi, Gabe. That's how, it, that's how I do. So, we were just uh, going over how everyone's last two weeks have been. How have your last two weeks been? I did some stuff in Utah. That was cool. <laughs> I um I've been working on stuff and other stuff. It's been pretty cool. Nice. Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> How's you guys stuff? Oh, you missed that part. Life's happening. It's been it's been going great though. No, it's uh it's been solid. I think Saber and uh, Laura Dang. had the biggest update because they just got a kitty. They just I'm got a big... kid. Oh, okay. I knew a kid. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We went to the, uh, What's his the name? Crystal. Her name. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You What's like set it up. Name? You set it up way too well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm gonna mute me. now. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Is it hip or what? <laughs> oh man. So one of, uh, my favorite, one of my favorite scenes from Disney. Period. Has to be the spy scene with, with Krunk. <laughs> and when he like, oh <laughs> uh, yeah, when he's holding his <laughs> the tone, <laughs> squeaker, squeaky, squeak, squeaker, squeaky, squeak, squeaker. Um, all this is pointing down at him. <laughs> well, what is his name? The kitty. Uh, oh, her name is Daenerys. Ah, oh, her. Okay. Daenerys, like like the the ancient Greek coin. No, no, the breaker of chains, the mother of dragons. Oh, Daenerys Targaryen. Yep. yep. Have you tried setting the kitty on fire yet? Not yet. <laughs> we're, we're gonna wait until she's a little bit older for that. Like three days. <laughs> like, well, first we gotta give her to an older kitty from Mongolia, and then give her some chicken eggs. <laughs> <laughs> but no, these. I gotta do my Sergio voice. No, Khaleesi, these are eagle eggs, Khaleesi. <laughs> I, I, I like, like Sergio. Say- Sergio sounds like that guy from who sings the Ten Thousand Fireflies song or whatever. <laughs> you would and not young. believe your eyes. There you go. Ten million fireflies. <laughs> now you gotta do it. In, now you gotta do it in Sergio's voice. You would not believe your. Now it's Irish. Never mind. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> You would not believe, believe your, your pants if they play in fire ants. <laughs> <laughs> you would not believe your knees if 10 million bumblebees. <laughs> my knees would give out if there were that many bumblebees, my dude. I don't think they can sting. Like, I'd I like to make myself believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be talking about fireflies the entire time. And that's it. <laughs> this is what happens when Sarah's not around to at least try to keep us on the rails. I'm looking mm. it up right now. I've been wandering since the fifth grade. Can bumblebees sting? Can bumblebees, I think can yes, bumblebees can. sting? Bumblebees can sting. Their wings no, kill bacteria, and the wing to body weight ratio is off. Scientists don't understand how they fly. Why use, why use Google.com when you can use Gabe.com? Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> I mean, the fat bees, the ones who can. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. That that is... fat shaming bees. Yeah. That is something is. Don't fly if you weigh over two grams. That's like the summary <laughs> of 2017. That's something is. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm triggered. <laughs> oh dear. No, they're not. They're all the same. They're all bees. They're not. Oh, I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Uh, I don't know. What are we talking about? Well, okay. So there's a there's a couple interesting topics that we'll hit up um, during this uh, podcast. One of which will probably um, very unspoilery, but also give a warning for anyone that wants to 
hop out. Uh, at some point, we'll probably talk about some movies that have come out. I haven't, I haven't seen um, Spider Man myself, so I, I have. Have. no spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. Definitely, definitely, like we said, will not even touch or look at or think about spoilers uh, for any of the movies we're going to discuss. Um, but oh, uh, uh, you saw a movie that I think is the best movie of the year so far. Despicable, Despicable Me 3. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, that's one I want to wait for Sarah to be here to, to discuss uh, both of those. And like we said, we, we won't get into details. Um, anyone that's tuning in won't know anything more about the movie other than what we thought of it so to speak so so we're you know we're not going to get into to anything as far as storylines or anything but um yeah like i said i haven't even seen spider-man so we just won't even talk about that <laughs> but Yay. well it's pretty cool when you find out no yeah. <laughs> don't say anything um another thing that we'll discuss later when sarah gets here she should be here just about any minute but um D23 is going to be happening this oh, yeah, weekend. Happening, like, yeah, very soon. Yeah, and that's something that I am uh, very much anticipating because I want Disney to announce certain things. So, uh, yeah, not, not, I know exactly what you're waiting for them to announce. It's not happening. Why don't you think so? Because it wasn't that good of a movie. It wasn't good enough. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> By the, the way, I've ever heard. Speaking uh-huh. speaking of Zootopia, um, Gabe and I were finally able to watch that movie together. Yes, and it was kind. Of, I mean, we we unfortunately I came in after Kid Judy, and it was like it was already t- past the training, which is another awesome scene. Filthy toilet, you're dead, fuzz butt, fuzz butt, something. Anyway, um. <laughs> Yeah, cool. but I missed all that. But then we, there were a bunch of other people in the room, so we couldn't like, like, you know, talk. Yeah. About our affections yeah. for, the totally geek out. for the movie. For the movie, we couldn't role play, but it was still, you know. <laughs> well, it didn't. Enjoyable. It didn't quite stop us from role playing. Not really. Yeah, I agree. There was that one part where you bit my neck. Yep. Oh my god. And then you went, ah, blood, blood, because there was actually blood. Yeah, that was uncomfortable, but it's okay. Yeah, I, I imagine it was. <laughs> but yeah, so what works out is since we didn't see the beginning together, it's an excuse for us to watch it again. I am all for that. I am all for it. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. Um, that was fun. Actually, Henry, be this. Is there a moment where you don't want to watch Zootopia? Never. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke, but I don't feel right making the joke without Sarah here. Aww. Yeah. I bet. I think he. I think he likes her. A little bit. Jeff has a crush on Sarah. Sheesh. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. Remember when kids used to do that? Just like, ee, you dropped the pencil. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no passing. This one. No people passing. Are like, was oh, Stephen's mommy's here. He even has a mommy. It's like, yeah, I have a mom. Mm-hmm. At least my mom's still alive. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, funny death jokes. Oh, I had to be right back. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I was going to say, since Gabe's here and we're still waiting on Sarah, um... Aren't we always waiting on Sarah? Oh, Sarah! Always, always, always. Uh, I figured that, uh, Gabe, should we discuss a little bit about Crystal Mountain PonyCon 2017? Oh, absolutely. Crystal Meth PonyCon was amazing. Mm -hmm. We did lots of awesome stuff. I was glad that for once in a very long time, we were actually able to hang out and like, I had to, like, I think I finally got this thing figured. I pretty much have no time during the day due to the schedule, but in the night I have time. So I just need to stay up till 4 a.m. every night. Yeah. No, that worked out. And I can do that. Especially, I like how we, when we did the Zootopia night deal, we stayed up till I think 3.30 watching that. I got to bed at four and then... I know Henry and I had to get up at like seven to catch our flight that morning, so that was good. Right. 
That was good. Yeah. No, but it was, uh, you didn't get a lot of sleep because there were a couple nights that we pulled late ones and you had to do things early in the morning. I actually, on Friday night, managed to get nine hours of sleep. Wow. Yeah. How the heck did you pull that off? I just, I think, I think, uh, <laughs> I see Drew in the chat. He was our, uh, our airport driver. And so thank Drew. you, Drew. Thank you very much, Drew. <laughs> How are Drew doing? Uh, oh. But, uh, but yeah, so you, you guys, um, Gabe, tell me a little bit about, at least before I saw you at the convention, because I, the first time I saw you was at the airport. That is true. That is true. Well, I, I drove and that was actually pretty fun that was a really neat um scenic experience though 13 hour driving day it does get exhausting <clears throat> and then um so i don't really remember much about getting there but were you i think you and andrea arrived around the same time right uh, i don't think so no andrea arrived after you because we went to pick you up with scott and he was playing the Book of Mormon in the car the whole time, which was yes. really awesome and funny. But I also felt guilty laughing, <clears throat> and so that was that was interesting. Um, but yeah, and then you almost came out because Andrew and I were talking in the hall, and you almost came out shirtless to tell us to shut up. I did, I did. It wasn't until I I walked up to the door, put my hand on it to yank and it open. Heard, yeah, well, it was a nice flight, and you were like, oh. Eesh. Yeah, I I actually heard the take hands off too. <laughs> I heard the words, "Hi, I'm Andrea," and I was like, <sighs> "Yeah." So that's when I put the pants on. I was thinking about still leaving the shirt off, though. Exactly, exactly. Well, you know, it's you know, I, I should have gone. I, I should have I should have come out similar to one story we had and and asked you, uh, just walked out and been like, "Hey, Gabe, look, I'm a huge fan, you know," and I feel so <laughs> awkward that this is the first time we're gonna have to meet, but. I really need you to do me a solid here, man. <laughs> do you? Yeah, that would have been great. That guy was there too. That he was, was. He was. Uh, the the joke here is that uh, we once had somebody ask us as we were walking down a hallway for a condom. Yep, leaned out the door. <laughs> wasn't wearing a shirt. Oh, oh, wow, Black Griffin, man. I I've been meaning to meet you this whole con. Wow. I, but uh, I just I, it's awkward. This is the first time we're gonna meet. But I I, I have a request just for one sailor to another. Do you have a condom? Like, no, I don't. I'm sorry. And he's like, please, man. She's super hot. I was like, that's not going to make me magically have one. And then, she, <laughs> then the girl pokes her head out and waves. See, that would have... You should have just taken yours off, Gabe, and give it to him. Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, I'm a jerk. I needed it for things. <laughs> I want to know what... <laughs> It's well, I was watching Zootopia too. Oh, yeah, my. yeah, you're right. We both were role playing. So yeah. it was. Uh... No, yeah. So that was that was a, a, a fun deal. I wasn't expecting to see you at the airport, so that was that was cool. Um, then the next day, great. opening ceremonies. I Henry and I got there late for opening ceremonies, so I missed when you had already told people about whose line so then i was like that was funny Gabe. that was funny yeah. so we had the opening ceremonies and i plugged whose line and i was a good boy and then uh jeff shows up halfway through and he just shows what about his line <laughs> well i i already plugged that yeah that fine. and then you got embarrassed and did i don't remember what i just went uh oh and right. everyone laughed and it was a good time except for people that probably don't like me um so yeah the the big thing for me on friday was the who's line event and what we realized was that there was no piano no keyboard no nothing and i found this out about two hours before the show but luckily gabe your mom let me borrow your car yes that was very nice of her um she was very nice she let you do that and you used up almost all the gas, and we almost got stranded. Yep, yep, so that was good. That was great. <laughs> actually, no, we knew. I, I, I let her know. But um, actually, most of the gas got used up when you, me, and Henry, and Michelle, and Xana <laughs> yeah. went to try and find a place to fly in the middle of the night. Yeah, we tried. 
we tried. Well, we found a place, and Michelle got in the air for a little bit, and Xana got in the air, but then the wind was so variable. Poor Henry. I mean, he gave it all he had. I'm gonna have to bring it to LA because, I mean, you know, <clears throat> if I go, um, that would be fantastic. Yeah. No, it would. Uh, it would be. Um, so yeah, we were in the middle of this field at like, God, I don't know. It was I think past midnight, and. Yeah. Of course, we go to where there's chain link fence. This whole thing's fenced up except for in one area. So, what's the point of the fence? <laughs> so I'm sitting here and I learned that my uh, fence jumping days are past me. And uh, Henry had to like push me over. It was it was uh, it was great. It was fantastic. I actually bruised my stomach doing that. So I'm like, yeah, I was trying to figure out what it was. And I'm like, oh, it was when I was climbing the fence. Aha. Uh-huh. But, uh, yeah, so that was uh, an interesting thing. That'll be on the vlogs. Um, I had uh, the camera filming us trying to run on a field. And the sprinklers were turning on all around us. We we weren't sure if we were going to get nailed. But uh, still, appreciate the attempt. Um, The night before, though, the Friday, or excuse me, Thursday night was one of the few times where I've gotten to a convention early enough to experience a Thursday night. And... Lo and behold, there's something about going to a restaurant. Saber, you know this. Whenever we tend to go to a restaurant on Thursday night before a convention, it it gets exciting. Last time I think we did it was Steak and Shake. Yep. Well, we yeah. had a similar experience as we oh, went no. to a two-star Denny's, of which we read the Henry read the reviews in a sassy voice. Uh, that was so funny. <laughs> and I, everybody here is on crack. Yeah, it was the crackhead Denny's to which we went, guys, right. we will fit in there. So? We did. <laughs> so we went. I think we did. Uh, yeah, that that's also quite vlogged. We show up and the air conditioner is broken in the Denny's, of which the weather here, I think, got down down to like maybe 90 degrees at night. It was just, it was a hot weekend out there, but <laughs> God, it was funny. Um uh, yeah, so so we, we frolicked around. At one point, we found a shopping cart, and dangerous things almost yes. happened. Yes, went for a shopping cart ride. I, I did almost die, which makes means it was a good shopping cart ride. Um, yeah. That was, yes. Um, yeah. Almost fell. Yeah, so um, back to Friday, Whose Line Happened. That was a heck of a lot of fun. We had Henry. Michelle came on for some special games, um, like the... Uh, special games. The song games, and uh, yeah, songs of the century. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that, that was a uh, that was a lot of fun. The we had a heck of a cheer at the end of that Who's Line event, so it seemed like yeah. it was a crowd pleaser there. Well, the you know the the Utah folks are just nice. They're just nice about everything. They That's right. Weird. So they probably didn't actually like it. Yeah, probably not. The louder they cheer, it's a sympathy cheer, you know? So the louder they cheer, the worse it was. Absolutely. But yeah, that's uh, that's going to be something that's going to be going up on YouTube. I'll be posting it probably in the next day or two uh, as far as the Who's Line goes. So excited about sharing that. Um, yes, I want to see your other con vlogs. I can't wait. So much awesome stuff happened. Yeah. Well, as mentioned, at one point I had to find a piano for this Who's Line show. We went to a yes. Target. I purchased a piano for 22 hours. And, uh, yeah. And then I, I returned it. They have a great return policy. We kept it in great shape. It was barely touched, barely used. So <laughs> we we, uh, we were able to uh, sneak one by that. But, uh, yeah. So at least it, I know there's an option for the future if we're ever in a position like that. It's like, okay. Worst case scenario. But, uh yeah, so so that kind of rounded up the Friday. Really, the last bit was that on Friday night, there was a VIP dinner, which uh, a lot of the special guests of the convention, as well as people that uh, did a lot to support the convention, um, attended. And it was at this really nice location. Um, I don't... What was it called? Was it called The Roof? Yes, The Roof. And it, it was overlooking... Um, I mean, we were in downtown, right? Yes, this is another great moment. <laughs> Proceed. Oh yes. Okay. So um, it, it was a black tie affair, sort of. <laughs> um, 
extremely extremely fancy like you know one of the they had a they had a glass Steinway grand piano that was being played when we walked in so that should give you some perspective on like the classiness of this establishment it was beautifully overlooking um the mormon temple downtown it, it, during a fantastic sunset there were it was a ridiculous spread ridiculous like if you had <clears throat> a, a gram of everything there it would still f make like two full meals it and, was ridiculous and i had a more i had more than a gram of everything there i definitely had more than a gram and i was stuffed and then <laughs> Andrea's like, oh yeah, you were probably just over there, and you saw an Oreo cake, and you thought, you know, that doesn't look very good. I'll skip it. Don't skip it. Eat it. It's amazing. <laughs> so then I had to eat Oreo cake. She was obsessed with that Oreo cake. But the best part was the fact that uh, of everyone, uh, Jeff was probably the most um, interestingly dressed. In that he was the least interestingly dressed. Um, you had on what uh, jeans and a Zootopia black Zootopia T-shirt. Yes, I did. <laughs> and but Jeff, being Jeff, um, everyone walks in and you know just the instant you know wave of reverence passes over because oh wow we're this is too classy for us we must be quiet. That's just how I feel when I walk into a fancy establishment, <laughs> you know. And um, <clears throat> instead of like kind of being like oh yike you know trying to stay under the radar, Jeff puffs his chest out and puts his hands behind his back and just struts right down the middle of everybody. <laughs> and I actually observed for the first time in my life a genuine like double take and near spit take from an 80 year old woman in, in fantastic garb. <laughs> she called Jeff and almost spit her water back into her glass. <laughs> it was so amazing. Oh, it was the best. Yeah. I, uh, I, I realized mistakes had been made. Um, but yeah. I mean, but besides that, the food was incredible. The, the view, the sunset. Uh, we got a tour around the facility. There was a big old Mormon temple out there. Mm -hmm. And I realized that, um, things are very, there's a lot of rules. Yes. When it comes to a religion. And I'm like, man, that's religion at its like foundation. <laughs> it was. Um, have fun. Too bad. <laughs> but yeah, so that was that was really cool. I can't remember what did we do Friday. Oh, Friday night was when we tried to fly. That's right. Yes, that and and that. And I felt really bad about that because I mean, you for, for those of you who um do any kind of glider based sport, wind is kind of crucial, kinda. especially if. You know your your source of power is uh, you know gimpy you know 180 pound man running as fast as he can, <laughs> which is the source of power. I'm not even one horsepower. I'm less than a horsepower, and by comparison, my engine for my paramotor is 30 horsepower. So I'm trying to help people take off with no wind by you know attaching them to their glider and then tying them to a string and running, and yeah. you know. How do they it, measure that horsepower? Because I was told that horsepower is not truly accurate. That's because horses were smaller back in the day. I don't know. That sounds right, though. Um, <laughs> I can BS my way through this. Horses were um, a lot smaller. As we selectively bred them, they became bigger. But the average horseback, when the established measurement of horsepower uh, came into play, was about the size of a sheep. So each person is about two points. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it works. Right? The last charge of the row here, I'm really not so fun after all. Just <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's follow here. Hi. Sarah's here, Sarah. by the way. Hi, Hi Sarah. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Sarah, do you want to just jump on, onto mine? In the podcast. My computer? All right, sure. Or should we switch? I don't give a shit. Oh. Well, uh, yeah, she's, <laughs> she's tired. Oh. It's been a long day. <laughs> uh, she gave me her Coke. Her vanilla coke. She's the working man now. <laughs> She's the breadwinner. Um, you gonna quit your job? Yeah, no, I already did. I already put it in my. T I haven't told her yet, but she'll be excited to hear that. I'm sure. Did anyone hear the dogs going nuts? Yeah. I'm gonna tell them to shut up now. Oh, Wait, you came back to his dog during British react that slayed me. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, speaking of Bronies React, Bronies React panel was on Saturday of Crystal Mountain PonyCon. Uh, oh, this convention was... That, by the way. You, you, you only missed a little bit. <laughs> no, I meant my, my entrance. Oh, did you like that? I did. I, I liked it very much. I felt very welcome. So I told everybody, I, I, I told everyone, I said, uh, I give them a heads up that since Gabe was in autographs at the time, he had to finish up those that were still in line for him um, before he could join us for uh, so about, nobody. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> about 45 minutes of uh, the Bernie's Rake panel. And so I knew he would be late. So I told the audience, I said, when Gabe comes in, nobody say anything. Everyone just be quiet. We're all just going to stand up. I'll be the cue. So when I stand up, that's the cue for everyone to just stand up and stare at Gabe. Just It was actually intimidating. I was like, oh my gosh, I, I, I screwed up. <laughs> I asked myself, what would Jesus do? <clears throat> that is definitely what Jesus would have done. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, tis the season to be in Salt Lake City. Um... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, like I said, Saturday, um, we had that panel. Uh, went went real well. I uh, answered a bunch of questions. Had a, a very lively audience. It was a lot of fun. Um, was happy that you were able to make it, Gabe, because I knew that was during your autograph time, but we were able to make it work. Yes, I was glad. I, I, I think I appeased everybody, the convention and my friend. Yes. So that's good. You did. You, I mean, you were still late, though. I, I was, but that's kind of, you know, at this point, I think it's come to be expected. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in a way. Um, other than that, uh, you had the concert that night. Yes, and you showed up, and I brought you on stage, and that hopefully will be in your vlog too, right? It should be, assuming that the cameras work. Oh. No, it, it should be. It, it absolutely. Should I saw be. your uh, your camera bank for the first time. I was. I must say, I was impressed. I actually Snapchatted it, and then someone screen capped it and tweeted it. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's classified information, but Jeff has a substantial amount of cameras that he brings. Yeah, there were four cameras I had with, uh, three of which were for recording different angles of panels, and then one was for audio capture as a backup. So. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. So I'm guessing you've had. You know, issues. Rely on that. I've had issues. Yeah. Um, yeah. I still do have issues, of course. Uh, but the yeah, no, it, it all it all went real good. Um, the reason that I, I I said that about the camera, like hopefully it worked, so to speak, is that the for some reason the two starting clips of the vlog of the entire vlog for crystal mountain pony con so essentially the one where i say hey guys it's crystal mountain pony con as i'm whispering on an airplane sitting next to henry <laughs> is gone i i don't know where they what? went i don't know it's just gone and then uh and then henry filmed some guy's hair that kind of looked like groot and <laughs> i am groot well baby groot it looked like baby groot was I on am his head. Groot. so we had fun with that and yeah, I don't know where those went, but they're gone. That makes me sad. It is weird. So, gonna, I don't know. I don't know. That's stupid. Hi. That's why you haven't posted stupid. anything. Hi, AC Race Best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm finally her. How how was your drive? It was shitty. Yeah? I hate driving in California. Yeah. <sighs> but otherwise, the day was okay. Nice. We were just finishing up Crystal Mountain PonyCon, um, discussing Gabe's concert. Gabe, anything that kind of rang a bell during that concert? Rang a bell? Yeah. Is it anything memorable? Oh, I mean, I. It was a good. It was a good show. <clears throat> Are you hinting at something, or am I supposed to? No, I'm not. Essentially, okay. I'm just wondering if there was anything out of the norm <laughs> for a Gabe concert. Oh. Well, I uh, I fell for the first time doing a backflip since I was sixteen. <gasps> so I think no, I'm and I I'm, missed yes, that. You did. <clears throat> you did. Now it wasn't a bad fall. Um, uh, what happened is right before I did the flip, you the landed flip on a child. A long show. I did, and uh, and I the, I crushed the child. It softened my landing very nicely, Good. but I did kind of stumble, and that was embarrassing. <sighs> but in reality, what happened is I um. <laughs> I thought I saw peripherally somebody um, going underneath me to get like a low angle shot, 
right before I committed to the actual flip. So to avoid them, I tried to jump farther than normal, it, just in case I had to clear somebody who was underneath me. And when I landed, I stumbled forward, and I actually had to put my hand on the ground to stabilize myself. And that was that was kind of like that moment when Willy Wonka finds the gray hair on his jacket, you know? <laughs> I saw in that one gray hair, my whole legacy, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I'm aging. I'm not going to be able to do this forever. <laughs> and then I, you know, I sunk into a deep depression. I, I stood on the windowsill of the second floor, contemplating whether or not I should jump and twist my ankle. And then I decided not to because I didn't want need the doctor bills. Well, smart decision. You've done that Thank enough. You. It's falling from tall heights and yeah, yeah, breaking I have not things. Not done that enough. Yeah, but uh, then you proceeded to do like eight more backflips throughout the concert, so that worked out. I did. I did a, a few more. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, a long show. It was, it was uh, longer than our normal shows, but it, it went well. Oh, and I got to perform with my sister for the first time in forever. So that was cool. We we did a song that we wrote. We did um um <clears throat> something. That's what the song is called. Just to confuse people. <laughs> Good. <laughs> just like the band called Who. 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 Um. But yeah, no, the concert was a lot of fun. Uh, was able to hang around for that thank you for coming and seeing me absolutely um friend, yeah um other than that that really was kind of the wrap as we mentioned that night uh hung around with uh some good friends eating some old cheese and then watch zootopia yes cheese there was cheese and then people got mad yes because they said there were stomping which there wasn't yeah i don't know what yeah the the Hotel staff were like, you guys need to stop jumping up and down. And we're like, but we were eating cheese. Yeah, there was no jumping involved. Unless we got a particularly delicious piece of cheese. Although there was that time where we tried to fly inside the hotel hallway. That, yes. That, I, I, in retrospect, I think that was a poor choice. Yeah, but hindsight, you know. Hindsight yeah. is 20, 30... <laughs> so, I to to wrap this up. Um, what what were your overall thoughts and and everything on Crystal Mountain PonyCon? It was both of our first times going. That feels so much like Bronies React. I just can't even. I like can't out of even. ten. What were your overall thoughts on the convention? I know when I said it, it felt like Bronies React too. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you sound just like the guys. So. I yeah, we um, talk. Yeah, my my overall thoughts were that it was an awesome convention. It was an a, amazing... Did you get to see the Salt Lake? Like, no. Did you get to look at like the scenery? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. The area was just fantastic. Salt Lake is so alien and so, you know, otherworldly, which I guess is kind of a synonym for alien, but still, hmm. um, in this context at least. Uh, the, <clears throat> the area was beautiful. The weather was beautiful. A little hot, but, I mean, you know, Arizona, so I'm just, kinda, I guess, kind of used to it at this point. Yeah. Um, and the people were nice, and I just like, man, I need to become a Mormon. Yeah. Yeah. So they get you. <laughs> That's how, is that how you felt? <laughs> it was, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a real good time. Uh, my first time going to Crystal Mountain Pony Con, uh, Salt Lake City. It, uh, you know, the staff, they just, they, they did a great job. The convention was really well run. They did a great job with the venue as far as how many people they had. Um, it never mm -hmm. felt too crowded. It also never felt empty. So it was they, they did real good job budgeting their space. Um, the staff, I, I I don't I never heard of any issues throughout this convention. Um, yep, I agree. There was no drama. There was no like unnecessary crap. Nobody trying to. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was that was it was real good. Uh, like you said, the people, the attendees were fantastic. Um, and it was just, it was just a real good time the entire time. So it was different because it was a two day convention, but at the same time, it definitely like, especially with our Thursday night, the way <laughs> Thursday night went, it felt like a three day convention almost. So, uh, definitely didn't feel like oh it was, gosh, yeah. I couldn't believe that, like that, that had happened all in two days. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, a that was, it was a great experience and a heck of a lot oh. of fun and credit to all those staff people you didn't get to do this and it kind of sucks but there was actually a nerf war that was actually in me and michelle's contract to do a nerf war which was uh -huh. crazy and a ton of fun what and when I'll, was that thursday 
<clears throat> yes, it was a second. No. First day. It was a second day. So, so Saturday. Friday? There, there was a Thursday get together. Saturday. What? What? When was it? <laughs> I think it was Saturday morning. Oh, I was asleep. Um, yes. And it, there were supposed to be three teams, me and Michelle and Andrea, but Andrea <laughs> didn't want to do it. So her, her team just subbed out on both of our sides for the, the few different times. Of and um, team, well, well, it, it went very interestingly. We'll just put it at that. <laughs> what? Yeah, That's again, all I'm saying. Just ignore me. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, uh, I, I said, of course, the Canadian dips out on the war. <laughs> wow, that is relevant. Oh, funny. That's funny. He's from Arizona. He gets it. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. Well, uh, so yeah, so that's our Chris Mountain PonyCon uh, recap. Now, Saber, I know you're here for a few more minutes, unless you're about to jump out. I was going to ask if you had a preference on what we talked about next. Uh. Not really. Go for it. Wow. Wow. Well, what I'll do, um, we'll save the movie talk for later. Uh, Sarah. Yeah. How have your two weeks been since the last podcast? Um, good. Uh, still at work. I'm still working at the same place, so that's good. Mm-hmm. Um, I painted and glittered stuff today. <laughs> So I've got some remnants of gold paint and glitter all over me. Ooh. Um, but yeah, uh, it's been fine. She's my trophy girl. Uh, She's my trophy girl. In a trophy world. Uh, now, Sarah, I wanted to save the story. I mentioned um, when I was talking about what we've done in the last two weeks uh, that we went to Disneyland on July 4th. Now. Yeah. When we went there, Panama Matt, who is in Boise tonight, which is why he's not in, on the podcast, he oh, yeah, he right. was with us, and it was his first time ever getting to meet Judy and Nick in person. Yeah. Now, you had a better vantage point for this, so I was wondering if you would tell mm-hmm. the story about what happened when we saw Judy and Nick that day. Okay. Well, we get up to the front of the line, and Nick points to both... Uh, well, mostly to race, <laughs> but also kind of to me. Uh, and he does this gesturing motion, like, oh, he's pointing at race, and then he points to the cast member and points at race again. And then he does, like, a gesture of, like, a, a movie reel, like an old camera with the crank and stuff. And so the, the cast member was like, oh, yeah, you've seen these guys before? And uh, Nick nodded. So he... It's very cool. much implied that Nick remembered at least AC Race Best from his video when he first met Nick and Judy. That is so cool. Um, so, yeah. It means some guy who's an intern at Disney was sitting in his underwear and saw an AC Race Best video and said, wow, that's why he comes to Disney all the time. <laughs> no, it was Nick yeah. Wilde in his underwear. I'm sorry. Was thing. And Nick gave him a big cut. Not far behind. In her underwear. Yeah. Her underwear, <laughs> <laughs> and he gave me a big hug too. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was cool because it was, it like I've had a couple interactions that were like, oh wow, like it seems pretty clear that they recognized me in the past. This one, there was absolutely no doubt that they're like that. At least Nick was like, oh my gosh, because he was even pointing to the area that I had filmed that in and everything. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is he, so cool. Too. Yeah, it was neat. And he also, I think at one point he referenced my uh, Judy Hopps hat. Yeah. He, fa- he found your Judy porno. Oh, he probably <laughs> liked it. Uh, <laughs> Body pillow. But it was, uh, not yet. Sarah's going to Sarah, get me that for my birthday. You found a body pillow this What am week. I getting? Didn't Sarah say, like... She finally approves of it. Yeah, yeah. No. Sarah, Sarah said I could get a Doki Makura of Judy Hopps. No, I'm really glad because no. if, if she can get uh, a Funko Pop of, of Fix It Felix, then you should be able to get a. <laughs> a Judy I love how you guys are just going on and on. Sarah's just going no, 
No, in the background. <laughs> Sarah, what if you came home from work? You know, you're, you're loosening your tie, putting your suitcase down. <laughs> you, 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 you walk in, you put down your briefcase, and, and you walk into the room, and you see Race under the covers with a, what's it called again? A, a, a document. A, a, <laughs> and Race is kissing it, and, and you open the door, and he's like, Sarah, it's not what it looks like. What would you do? I'd be like, well, time to go back to work. <laughs> Pick up my briefcase and leave. <laughs> what did you do when you came back later that night and the exact same scenario happened again? Uh, well, I probably wouldn't return the same day. <laughs> what, if, what, if, what if you all meet at a Waffle House to talk it out and you're walking up... At <laughs> Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I would totally go to a Waffle House to eat. Uh, uh, whatever, IHOP, whatever. So you're walking up to the IHOP booth and, and you walk around. You walk around. And you see Ray sitting there with his deli taco, and deli taco, whatever it's called, uh, uh, Dalai Lama. And he <laughs> got the pillow in his arms, and he's like, "Listen, we, we all three of us have got to talk this <laughs> out." What'd you say? I'd say, "Fuck off." <laughs> and I then I would leave. <laughs> to who? To me or the pillow? Sarah, let's say, let's say Ray Best said, "Okay, Sarah, I will pay you ten thousand dollars if if this judy pelican join us in the bedroom for one night of fun what would you say <laughs> why'd you have to you add mean, of fun like a three-way between me him and the pillow <laughs> is that what you're talking about it's precisely what i'm talking about uh no why million. not that's yeah. a lot of money where's he getting <sighs> that's, more than, that's more than than a millennial makes in a lifetime <laughs> Not if they raise the minimum wage. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you all can have seventeen dollars a month. I just realized that the comparison between Waffle House and IHOP is kind of like the comparison between Walmart and Target. Well, here's, here's oh, no, it's between comparison between Walmart and Kmart. No, no, no. no. Oh. <laughs> Here, here's the thing. I have a question for you all, and then I gotta go. Um. Has anybody ever actually been to Burger King before? Yes. Yes. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yes. I okay. live there. So, <laughs> does it so it exists then? We know it's real. Yeah. Burger yeah. King. Who 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 here actually eats there actively? Mm, I haven't eaten no. there. Not in often. In uh, I, I, Seventeen years. I do now. because it's like right beside my post office. See, I don't because there's not one nearby, so I just don't have that yeah. excuse. See, this will sound like I'm actually lying, but I'm telling the 100% truth. I've eaten at Burger King three times, and I have thrown up all three times. Well, so what I were you getting? <laughs> Just a burger. And the chicken tenders that were, like, all right. Hmm. So I, I don't eat there no more. Well, on that note, I gotta go. Did okay, you know that buddy. Jack's Blade worked at Burger King for six years? I, I do know that. I just learned that. He still does. Nah, I'm joking. I have no idea. Mm. All right, you want to keep? You have to leave. All right. Uh, bye, Morty. See you guys later. All right, bye. Saber. Bye. See ya, Morty. So I think we also lost Laura because <laughs> yeah. Saber just took everything down. Um. So Sarah. Uh, speaking mm. of topics that we're going to talk about. And I, I know that now we'll really get everybody involved here. <sighs> so I'm very excited. Actually, I, I should be. I, I, I maybe now that Saber's gone, we'll just jump into the movie talk, and then we'll get back to the big topic of this podcast. And so, so Sarah, <laughs> you and I saw a couple movies this week. Um, as we mentioned for yeah. everyone in the chat, we won't be talking about any spoilers, so don't worry. Um. But uh, yesterday, Sarah and I saw Despicable Me 3 and Baby Driver. And one of those movies yep. was really good, and the other one was... Was really bad. Was yeah. Despicable Me 3. <laughs> so. gonna... Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in guessing anymore. Oh. <laughs> but maybe Baby Driver was what I thought Despicable Me 3 would be. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's been a couple movies coming out. Also, Spider Man just recently came out, and I know there's some movies coming out. That's kind of the busy part of summer when it when it comes to movies. Right now, yeah. we're, we're I really like Spider Man. 
I did. I wasn't expecting to really like it. Well, I, okay, I love Marvel in general, but I've kind of come to just expect that Marvel movies are pure like entertainment. There's not much um, in the way of a story or you know, uh, <clears throat> really like feasible plot that I, I go to see. I go to see explosions basically, you know, and good animation. Right. But this actually had a compelling story, and I, I very much enjoyed it. And I. There, I love the Tobey Maguire Spider Mans. Those were my Spider Mans, <laughs> Spider Man. Those are my favorite. So I was happy to be happy. Okay, so so would yeah. would you say this is your new favorite, or are Toby still ahead of us? I would say this one was probably on par with the first Tobey Maguire Spider Man, but still my favorite Spider Man of all time is the second one, Doctor Octagonopus. Octagon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, uh... I, I would say Spider-Man Homecoming is uh, my favorite so far. It was very good. Yeah. I, I'm looking forward to watching it. I hated it. Yeah, I'll bet you did. There is, okay, you know how you were saying in Cars 3, there's something that makes you go, whoa. There, there is one of those moments in this movie that I wasn't, that I didn't see coming at all. Huh. So yeah, that's, that's the closest I'll get to spoilering. Okay. So, interesting. Um, uh, and then, okay. <laughs> So, so then, let's start with the, I guess, the more positive of the bunch from my anticipation. Uh, Baby Driver is a movie that I know has kind of a click audience, or click? No, niche. Uh, niche audience? Yeah. yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Not there click. <laughs> um, but it's also, because I think the director is somebody who attracts a certain group. and Yeah, it's uh, Edgar Wright. Yes, and it's so it's hard sometimes to gauge how the his movies are doing on the success level. Um, by the way, I just have to throw this out. I'm on Sarah's computer, so every time I look in Discord, I see Toodles is talking, and I keep thinking I'm interrupting her. I'm like, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, never stopped you before, so. Aww. <laughs> As Nick Wilde would say, thank you. So. The the movie, Sarah and I decided to see it because we saw a lot of people talking about it. I was already kind of interested in it, but I really, I was like, huh. Um, basically, the movie, from what you could tell just from the trailers, is it's, it has a lot to do with cars and driving and, and getaways and whatnot. Um, and a baby. And, and a baby. Yeah. <laughs> baby driver. Baby driver. So, it, yeah. uh, no, I... I I was excited to see it. Um, again, a lot of people have been talking about it. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes has a, it has a really good score on Rotten Tomatoes. So there were a lot of things pointing to this movie being good. And Sarah and I saw it, and I'd say it was really good. Yeah, it was good. Awesome. My dad said that it was supposed to be good, and my dad is very picky when it comes to movies, uh, even when reading the reviews. So... I am looking forward to seeing it, expecting it to be awesome. Yeah, it's um, uh, it does some some things that I I haven't really seen done a lot in movies. Um, and it's very different from the Edgar Wright's other movies. If you know Edgar Wright's other movies, he did like the uh the Cornetto trilogy with um, uh, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he also did the Scott Pilgrim film. Um, oh, so this is more serious then. Yeah. Um, th this one's probably the most serious out of all the film he's, films he's done. Uh, but the really interesting thing about this film is that it does a lot of interesting things with um, sound design. Yeah. Where it, it has the soundtrack that sort of like goes to the beat of like the sound effects in the movie. And yeah. And it's really cool. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It, it, I love that it strongly integrates the soundtrack. Basically, the soundtrack is what drives the movie. Ha! <laughs> because it's a car. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> I actually expected that, or I, I would say I was hoping for that, because if the whole point is that he is basically using the music to uh, to rid himself of distraction and help him focus, then that would be a creative way to signify that in the movie, as if we're hearing what he's hearing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's cool. It's a, it's a really cool element, yeah, so, and I so really... So in a theater that has a good sound system. Yeah, I, I yeah. just... I, I really enjoyed just that whole feel to that movie. Just... just because of that alone it it left me kind of smiling during the movie i was like this is cool i want this movie to succeed <laughs> yeah and it, it, it did pretty well for its um uh, first weekend it, it actually beat out transformers at the, the second weekend that that was out. oh snap hey you know what i found out a little while ago 
Go ahead. Um, Go ahead. My agent is also Peter Cullen's agent, and he was at a, a, a um, my agency's cast party a little or um, uh, Christmas party a little while ago. I guess it was a Christmas, <clears throat> but I saw him there, and I was like, "What? What?" He's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's Peter Cullen." He's like, "Oh, that's pretty cool. So that was neat." So there you oh. go, Transformers fact. Hey, uh, sir, were you gonna say something about Baby Driver? Um, no, I just I liked it. Oh, okay. It's cool. Um, now before we touched on all the things I wanted to say. So. Sweet. Um, before we saw Baby Driver, I'm driving home so I can drink for a few minutes. Oh gosh. <laughs> it, it's so uh, we're on our final movie topic, Saber. We're talking about what is it? Despicable Me Three. <laughs> you mean me, Steve Carell talking? As... <laughs> <laughs> Steve Carell talking as Gru. <laughs> rewatching The Office, and I gotta say, Steve Carell's Michael Scott is one of my favorite performances ever. Like he totally. nails the awkwardness of that, like of, of that character. So I mean, I watch cringe videos all the time, but yet The Office with Michael Scott, there are moments where I have to pause and like walk away because it's that bad. That's, <laughs> that's, that's impressive. That's got impressive. I agree. I, <laughs> I do. I want to someday go and be able to see all the episodes of The Office, but you know, I'm well, waiting. You know, Netflix. But you know who, who are they? Are they on Netflix? Yeah. <gasps> Sarah, we have Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so Despicable Me Three is a movie. I I love watching. Is it a movie? May okay. Let me let me rephrase. <laughs> it is it is a thing that was animated. Um, I enjoy <laughs> seeing movies in theaters. Um, and unless it's like Norm of the North status. <laughs> I, I try to see I try to see most animations in movies and so Despicable Me was a movie that I intended on seeing one way or another uh, and yeah we did see it and it was another <laughs> uh, it was another Illuminations movie which <clears throat> yeah I, I want to say Illuminations continues to go down this trend of essentially taking the first 15 minutes of their movie and just saying this is our trailer yeah really Mm -hmm. they keep doing that and i guess it's they might be doing it because it's (laughs) some brilliant person's like well we don't have to make it (laughs) (laughs) they don't they don't pay anyone how much money we can save <laughs> well, to their credit, to their credit, as far as how much money they spend on their movies to how much money they make off their movies, they have a very solid business model. Uh, they're one of the most profitable movie making companies out there right now. Um, but it, I don't know. I guess it's just from my standpoint. Like, I love a good animation, and I mean, like, a good animation. Um, and it just illuminations continues to just drive me nuts. <laughs> like, ah! What was that recent movie that was released where they made it on a budget? And I was like, huge sale. Oh, Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants. Okay. And that was really good. Yeah. Illumination is probably punching their desk saying, like, we've got to do that. And I mean, <laughs> do we have to pay the animators? <laughs> <laughs> We're giving them experience. <laughs> we give them, yeah. <laughs> I can give you, uh, what's the word? Um, Credit? Exposure. Exposure. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I Sarah, what did you think? Um, I really didn't enjoy it all that much. Like, the first two movies, they got, like, the first one was decent enough. Like, I enjoyed that one. And then the second one was, all right, I got some laughs out of it. But this one, I, like, barely laughed at all. <laughs> <laughs> and like the audience like was so quiet yeah yeah okay so the movie does one of those classic things where you know a laugh portion happens and they'll kind of have some open space between that so oh uh, let the audience laugh but it yeah. was so yeah. quiet during those parts <laughs> like oh man during the part that people are supposed to be laughing so they don't miss the next thing yeah, yeah, like our entire Who's line. <laughs> the movie stops, <laughs> and they, re- they rewind it so you can do it again. Right they all look again. That actually reminds me, at the end, of, what is it? At the end of Zootopia, uh, freaking, it took me until I got the DVD 
to hear the line flash flash 100 yard dash at the end of the movie yeah every time i went to the theater people just cracking up i was like i guess i'll never hear this line i am ever. proud <laughs> i am proud to say that all 30 times that i saw zootopia there wasn't a single time that i saw that movie where the audience wasn't reacting to something up until my 30th viewing 30th and final viewing people were still laughing at you know at the at the jokes they were still getting into it so that's awesome you know <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> what just happened <laughs> did you just you, did you just meow i was i was i said you know i was gonna do the little talking like the mouse from uh from the t- no, yeah, but I couldn't get it right. <laughs> oh my god, you got it! For a regular sized donut for us big people. <laughs> I, I still don't get Zootopia. I, I don't. I, I don't get the. It has, it has some problems. <laughs> Major problems. To the point where I, they probably won't have the green light of the sequel because they're like. They're like, yeah, I made over a billion dollars, but it doesn't make sense. See, but, but no. See, cool. the problem is, is that you guys are looking at, at, a, at in a way in this sense, Saber, that different sized animals don't exist. Well, you know what? When I saw Andre the Giant and Wee Man walking through the airport that one time, I thought, that's possible. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's it, man. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Right, I, hope that Star- I hope that Starbucks is open and pulling up. <laughs> uh, you guys want anything? For record. Hold on. Can I get uh, strawberries and cream? Anyone in the chat want anything? Um, <laughs> oh gosh, I'm catching it at the end here. Uh, my order's pretty simple. Can I get like a medium quadro? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the first ever drive through during a podcast. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to read the podcast uh, comments. Sugars. Or two bumps of vanilla and take a little bit of cream? No. You know what? I remember. Sure. I bookmarked it because I was tired of asking where it is. Here it is. I bookmarked it. Uh, no, just a vanilla. Yes, please. That's it. I said please. What a polite man. He's a, well, he is a Georgian by trade. Always windy. It never is not windy. Oh, windy. I think it said windy. Windy, like, windy, windy. No, it's wind. <laughs> There's wind. I look like Yoshi in this picture. How is that possible, Gabriel? Oh, oh no, I'm just looking at this picture, the <laughs> podcast picture. I just now saw it. I'm, I'm here now. I say hi. So Whoa. paleo. Whoa. Yes. Sign up. I have to ask. <laughs> it seemed like you were very fond of new characters in this movie. Mm. <laughs> uh, man, I, I hated Bruce Brothers so much. Like, he, he, he annoyed me more than the Minions. <laughs> and, and that's saying something. Was he also voiced by Carell? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah. <laughs> And the thing, the thing is, like, the, the movie has way too many plots. It does have a lot of plots. That's a good point. Like, yeah. like the whole thing with, like, the mom and the daughters, too. Yeah. Thank you very much. You, too. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. There was a lot. You, there was... Well, uh, I, I have a question for you guys. Y- yes, Saber? Okay, this is, this, is, this is important, okay? Okay. So, let's say you're walking in uh, Despicable Me Town. And Gru's driving in this giant metal bullet, gonna get tetanus car, and <laughs> he pulls up to you and he's like, "Hello there, friend. I'd like to make you an offer." And you're like, "What?" And he goes, "I will give you uh, technology that's worth ten thousand diamonds, which is worth you know multiply ten thousand diamonds times money, and that's a lot of money." Mm-hmm. He goes, "But what you have to do is you have to kiss." My minion on the lips for ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Absolutely never. Okay, let's make it one minute. You have to go all. Yes. I would do it. Really? Tongue tongue and all. You 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 make out with a minion for a minute for ten thousand dollars. I would pay. Wait. (laughs) (laughs) 
As long as the minion wore ears. <laughs> Is that what bothers you about the minions? That they don't have ears? I, I'm just, you know, oh, I'm earist. I think he, I think he was referring to rabbit ears. You got ears, some kind of ist. That's kind of funny too. <laughs> Actually, the guy who pulled me out of the the mud when I broke my leg the first time, he didn't have any ears. Was he a minion? <laughs> Did, he go, oh, no, no. <laughs> Did he say like Avi Kabisa? Bottom. That's not a minion saying. Hold up. Who says Avi Kabisa? <laughs> That's uh, uh, from Lion Guard. That's uh. Oh yeah. Oh, like, oh, I, I, think it. Is the <laughs> I think that's the hippo. That's. <laughs> I become a bebo. No, it's it's it's, it's Kion, I think. Oh yeah. Kion. Oh. 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 So. <laughs> What does the honey badger say? That thing that just drove me up the wall. Zuka Zama. Zuka Zama. And they, they tried to this. make it friggin. Fuck my Asha. Up, put it well. Oh my gosh, the line guy. Hitler. That's what he said. Really weird. He says march around with Scar and his Nazi height. <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean, I'll just I'll say this. As far as Despicable Me goes, I go to the movies to enjoy myself. I don't go to be a critic. I don't go necessarily to review or anything. And I just, like I said, I I, I just observed Sarah mentioned this. At one point, I'm like, I haven't really laughed at all during this movie. <laughs> like, maybe chuckled here or there, but like nothing really got me in this movie. And the movie never hadn't even started at that point. I know, that's the worst part. <laughs> I was like, man, and we're still in the you know, I'm, I'm with you, though. Like, the, movie like theater, the thing like... that the Go thing that made us laugh the lo the most during this movie was in the credits when there was a couple making out behind us. Yeah. For like five minutes. <laughs> was it a was it a minion? No. <laughs> ah! Beat me to it. <laughs> Deal it. I just I don't I don't get couple. I don't get where the hormones like how did this movie get the hormones going here? I'm like, come on guys. There's so many better movies to the make out after. Are, are not eris. I don't know, the minions speak in, mm. like, some kind of stupid version of a romance language, and I don't get enough of them. Mm -hmm. Just oh, imagine uh, what they were doing in the middle of the movie. By the way, um, one that. thing, I, I, think, I think Despicable Me 3 could have done right if they actually focused on it uh, a lot more, was uh, the villain. Because I thought the premise of the villain was was pretty hilarious. The, just the premise itself, like, I wasn't really laughing at it. But yeah. I thought the premise was pretty pretty fun because uh, it's this it's this it's this child actor <laughs> God, I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get my dog to come inside <laughs> but yeah it's this uh it's this child actor from the 80s uh that had a tv show and he grew up out out of it uh and grew just people didn't love him anymore yeah he grew up <laughs> oh. that's funnier than anything in the movie yeah uh, <laughs> No, I mean, there's also... Well, yeah, an... He grew up out of it, and, and people d didn't love him anymore, so he, he wanted, like, revenge on Hollywood. And I thought, oh, yeah, they should, like... And they they, they start out with that uh, in the movie, but that's not the main focus of the movie at all. Yeah. <laughs> though they start out with it. There's also an interesting moment, and again, I won't get into too much detail, but they bring in a new character very early into the movie, and Sarah pointed this out, like, afterwards... The, the character serves no purpose. Like, they, they make, like, this whole scenario in the beginning of the movie, um, as, like, in regards to, what is it, the AVL? Uh, is that what they're called? Yeah. Anti-villain link. Yeah. Word. And, Palo, you might know what I'm talking about, where they're like, oh, we're oh, making yeah. a change. She's in the trailer. Uh, yeah, the one that uh, Jenny Slate voices, right? Yeah. Yeah. She she shows up just to do that one part. Yeah, she just shows up like once and and another in like this weird um in a flash uh, or, the, or like yeah, a dream sequence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. And that's it. And I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's almost like you could not have just like bothered to introduce that new character and then just yeah have the other dude. Do yeah. <laughs> so that yeah. being said. Um, so those were some of the movies. I know there's some movies coming out. Paleo, you said you're excited about the new, um, uh, Apes Planet movie? Apes. Yeah. Yeah. That looks Great. cool. I, 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 have, I haven't seen the first one of the trilogy. I need to see the first one. Uh, the first one is really good. I, I love it. 
I, I rewatched it recently. So. Yeah, it really is. It, and if you, it really is kind of a mind blowing thing if you have not seen it before. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I got yeah. to see it fresh. Yeah, me too. When I was younger, I was just like, oh my gosh, it's the same planet! But yeah. Huh. I'll I'll be curious. I, I want to check it out. Um, I'm we might see that movie next week. Um, so I, I'd like to see the first one and rewatch the second one before I do see the third well, one. Well, that's the thing, though. You already know the surprise ending of the first one if you have seen oh, any of it. Uh, are you talking about like the very first Planet of the Apes or the first in the uh, prequel trilogy? Oh, I'm talking about the very first. Okay, but, I mean, uh, what what race is talking about? Huh? What? Uh, my phone's like, charging for recording purposes, so I got like ten more minutes, and then I got to bounce. So, god dang it! <laughs> so, I just can't. You can't get rid of him. <laughs> well, that, that race, were you, race, were you talking about the very first Planet of the Apes film, or you were talking about the uh, first in the in the prequel trilogy? I'm talking about the first one in the prequel trilogy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, the so, prequel so, trilogy. Yeah, you're like Rise, Dawn, and uh, War yeah. coming up. I'm not talking so about, like, gonna... Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> was it this <laughs> podcast or somebody else's that said, like, that that entire franchise was ruined because Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and Rise of the Planet of the Apes, both of those words can be like, interchanged and mean the exact same thing. So it kind of... Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> you're right, actually. What's the next... The morning of the planet of the apes. <laughs> Revving up the engine of the planet of the apes. Yeah, but um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rise, if you haven't seen Rise, yeah, Rise is really good. It's great because uh, when they started off, it, the it's like a black screen, and then you hear Rise, Rise, <laughs> let it all out. Oh my god! I just can't wait for foreplay of the apes. <laughs> that was the whole first movie. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm gonna end this here and just say, I'll never forget when I found out that there was such thing as Playmate of the Apes, <laughs> and that's all. What? Yeah. Not. There is. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I have to look it up. I don't want to. Oh, and that being said, during our family-friendly podcast, um, so Sarah, okay, so moving on from movies, yeah, well, kind of, only kind of moving on from movies. D twenty three is this weekend. It's Disney's big convention, and it's one that we could go to if we didn't work and had a lot of money, and of which I technically could still go. But I don't really want to pay the money for I'll be there. <laughs> it's expensive. Especially when I'm. <laughs> especially, like, I think a lot of the stuff gets posted online a day yeah, or two after anyway. So mm -hmm. I'm just like, uh. yeah. I'd rather go when I could, like, make the whole weekend rather than uh, just a 3 p.m. on a Friday. <laughs> Yeah, well, this, I mean, Friday is the big day for, I, I think yeah. Sarah and I are most interested for in. Upcoming films. Yeah, it's animated. Friday animated at movies. Yeah, so that's, that's where Pixar and Walt Disney Animation are going to be talking about their slate and. Yeah, because we, we don't know anything past like 2020 of what now, we're doing. Here's so. the thing I'm just putting this out there. Now, you guys know, obviously, that I really, really, really want a sequel to Chicken Little. And someday, no, they, I, I just, the sky is falling. I decided to type in just, just to see where the hype was at or, or whatnot. I, I did a Google search earlier of Zootopia sequel and I found an article posted by Inquisitor, I think was the site. I don't know how like big they actually are um, or reliable, but they had a new article that was posted yesterday where they had had a conversation or, or taken some bits from a an interview with the guy that played officer mccorn who's the rhinoceros in the police force in zootopia who apparently yeah. apparently apparently confirmed that zootopia sequel is like a thing and then he got fired because he's under nda <laughs> oops um 
<laughs> I'm Women for the real leaks. Because they, they I, I saw, I saw in this article it was also mentioned that they're proposed. This might have just been based on their current schedule, but that their proposed release year would be 2021. That's not even a real year. Don't talk about that year. <laughs> That's four years from now. We'll be nuked before then. Well, I'll be dead by then. <laughs> the <world ends laughs> <pretty soon. laughs> but yeah, so I am holding my breath and really hoping that we're going to see... Hey, you're going to get it. I mean, it broke a billion. It, I think if a movie breaks a billion, it automatically gets sequel. Like I agree, question, it has yeah. to. No one's going to spend a billion on a movie. It's only free. It's free money. I don't yeah, just it's like I, that's just, this is easy money in the bank. Even if it doesn't make as much as the first one. But I don't just want a sequel. Profit. I want six sequels. I want. Well, they're, they're, they're gonna run this into the ground. I want them to run it into the ground while what you, Nick and what do you do? Judy, what? What do you do? Why can't I say what ill you do <laughs> if uh, Judy and Nick aren't the main character? What well, if it's an anthology series? Why would they do that, though? I would not be happy. You wouldn't be happy? What if they focused on, like, a pig and... I mean... A, a, uh, a lion? Uh, the characters the are... Lion. <laughs> the boys, they lion. The characters are so uh, such a big reason that this movie was so successful. It's it's the ability to I mean all the characters, the characters were just so good. The voice acting was so good. Everything was so good. And I have so much merchandise. I spent oh so much money. God, <laughs> <laughs> Gabe and I were able to sing that song together. By the way, we were able to sing by yeah. everything. That was funny. Scott just came up and hijacked the panels. Like we're gonna watch this now. Yeah, I didn't know what we were watching. Actually, I was kind of nervous, but it was. <laughs> now we're gonna watch the Team Women Conversion video. <laughs> <laughs> well, I for one am really excited to hear some more news about Ragnarok too. Because I have been about Incredibles two. four years. Well, yeah, in- Incredibles two. That would be great to hear more of that. But um, Ragnarok two is like my Zootopia. Yeah. I want to pick your brain on that. A How about bit. you get a Fix It Felix docky? Yeah. And Jeff get no, a I don't Judy want Hops one. And you guys trade. <laughs> I Sarah, want one. Sarah, come on! I don't it, it, have a need for a doctor when I got a real life boyfriend. Aww. When were you gonna tell me? me? She thinks Felix <laughs> is real. Did you hear that? Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, hi there. My name's Jack McBrayer. Hi there, Miss Toodles. How you doing? See, oh, what you, like, you have to do is there. go to a convention and find the fix it Felix docky, take a picture of it, put it on Twitter, and be like, AC Race Fest, how would you feel about me? I, I would <laughs> say she can business. get hers if I can get mine. And then... And then I'd say... Then I'd... I get... <laughs> Sarah, Sarah's afraid that her parents are someday going to show up unannounced and see these docky McCur- These I, Let me say... Instead, these um, pillows of decoration mm-hmm. on, in our living room. And for some reason, she's worried that they're going to form an opinion. Well, hug, I have five Makimakuras, and yeah. I didn't buy them. Of Gabe course. has one, Sarah. You wore you wore <laughs> a Gabe document. Hey, he has one of his own, though. Oh, uh, um, excuse me. Gabe has five. Weren't you listening? Of what? <laughs> of, of, of me. <laughs> Someone made a Black Griffin Docky and they gave it to me and they gave me five of them. That was Ardell. <laughs> it was Ardell. Yes, yes. And they're really good. They're cute. I'd cuddle myself. Yeah. I, I want to give a shout out. I don't know if he's I don't know if he's watching tonight, but Ardell often tunes in for these podcasts. He's so. amazing. Yeah. And he's... they're not functional, unfortunately, but, you know, they do the trick. <laughs> what does functional input? <laughs> I, know you know. I think you know what it is. They, they can be. <laughs> Isn't this family friendly? No. Sarah. It's definitely not family friendly. Sarah. It was family friendly for about two episodes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think we lasted one. Two seconds. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, okay, so there's that stuff coming out for D23. Is there anything that you guys are, are interested in? 
Uh, I'm I, I wanna... south too. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I'm just really interested to see what Walt Disney Animation Studios is doing next after mm -hmm. Gigantic. Because yeah. um, um, I. Wreck it Ralph and I, I, I'm kind of disappointed that Gigantic isn't coming out next year, so that we have to wait until like 20. 20 for it to, to release. Yeah. Because uh, that movie looks really interesting. I think what is great. it? I don't know if I've seen the trailer for it. it. It's a, it's based, based on Jack and the Beanstalk. Oh, cool. Yeah. You know, did any of you guys see that weird Jack and the Beanstalk type movie where the Giants the, the, are the good guys and it's oh, like, really sad? <laughs> uh, what? The good guys. Yeah, well, this this Beanstalk, it's like it's supposed to be like a modern version of Jack and the Beanstalk, and the Beanstalk pierces this other dimension in the sky, and they climb up. like Jack the Giant Slayer or whatever? That yeah, that's the one. Jack the Giant Slayer. <laughs> What? I'm looking up in that too. Oh my god! The, the, that was that the one Gallagher? That was the one I think where it sounds like instead of like I think the giant says I it, the big Yeah, match. yeah, it's the same guy who voices <laughs> Davy Jones in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And yeah. yeah, and he he says the phrase says It's good to be back. It's good to be back. And and I walked in when he was saying that line and I'm like, did, did the giant just say it's I screwed the Big Mac. <laughs> I screwed the Big Mac. <laughs> I mean, everyone else because has, that's so. exactly what it sounded like, like with this accent. God, it's really I sad. Screwed the Big Mac. I screwed the Big Mac. Like you said, <laughs> it wouldn't be the first. Do you feel it, thou Um, I I'm curious about the theme park announcements because there's also rumor that a Zootopia Land might be something that could be coming to Animal Kingdom. <laughs> I would, I would love that. I would, yeah. I would, I would move to Florida. That's awesome. But I still want to go to Avatar Land. Oh, it's so Real bad. cool! The animatronics are so awesome. I know. I've seen videos of it. And I just really want to go. I, I love that they use the 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 um the fiberglass epoxy resin like to make giant rocks, and then they use their force perspective like shading and stuff like that to make it look like they're actually hovering. I, that, I think that's brilliant. And pretty much everything's fiber optic. Do they have underwater fiber optics as well? Yes. Uh, <laughs> you sound so uh, sure. Everyone's clammed up. I was like, Gabe, no one knows the answer. No, it should it should be it should be a lot of fun to see what what will be coming out. Um, obviously, they'll also be announcing stuff as far as um, I believe Star Wars Land is going to have a a big announcement of sorts um also the actually it's really cool because we we were walking around frontierland when we went on the fourth at disneyland and we were taking a look at the area the access area to how you'll get to star wars land it's going to be really interesting to me to see how the crowd just shifts all the way to the north side of disneyland <laughs> for this yeah <laughs> it's gonna be weird but yeah uh, it yeah, have a lot of space what? <laughs> we couldn't hear. Sorry, I said it's tough because Disneyland doesn't have a ton of space to work with. Yeah. So they got to be creative. Yeah. Though yeah. I think they just keep buying <laughs> property. Yeah. <laughs> so. Buy everything. Buy Honestly, everything. from V twenty three. Uh, I just I like animal movies because I like animals. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind having yeah. another animal movie, especially with that yeah. fur technology or whatever they started making for Zootopia that looks so dang More good. Zootopia. I wouldn't mind another yeah. movie with it. More Zootopia. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> also, I'm curious, um, Hero. You you said that you wanted to pick Sarah's brain about Wreck-It Ralph. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to know why you, why you liked it so much. I never asked you about it. And I was curious. Um, God. Uh, it's like a lot of things that would take forever. <laughs> yeah, it's. I don't know. Like, Who Framed Roger Rabbit has been my one, number one favorite movie, and I feel like this, like Wreck It Ralph, kind of touches upon like the whole like, oh, there's that character in it for a little bit. It's not as strong mm -hmm. as it is in uh, Roger Rabbit, but like I still kind of get that vibe. So I already like like it. I'm like, oh hey, look, it's Bowser or whatever or Zangief from that game. And the, you know, Wrecker Ralph, 
Vanellope, all the characters that they introduced for this movie. I just, I love them, especially Pixar Felix, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, Does it have anything to do with that it's video game related? Because I know you play yeah, a lot of uh, games. I like video okay. games. Gives and me I the think it's a fun something. idea <laughs> to do, like, oh, what if video game characters are real and, like, that's their job during the day and and all that stuff. I think it's it's just a cool idea. I like arcades, I like video games, and it just all comes together, and I love it. God damn! <laughs> exactly. S- right, cool. Sarah, did you hear that uh, Gabe was about to do the Honey Glow line? <laughs> the Honey Glow something fierce, something awful. There was something awful. <laughs> Jesus. All right. I got the Honey Glow <laughs> in um, my cheeks. It, My butt I think their um, D23 also got like a video game uh, exhibition thing that they're doing with Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. And other things like that. Um, yeah, yeah. Battlefront, Star Wars. So yeah. I know Jeffrey likes Kingdom Hearts, and I'm going to be playing the first few games. Or two, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's hard to tell how many fucking games there are because it's like two point five, two point. I don't know half. which ones. I like, I've played one and two on the PlayStation. Yeah. I don't know what's. Is that all we need? Is like, do you just play the PlayStation games and you'll probably be okay for Kingdom Hearts three, or do you have to know like um, all the? No, you have to play Kingdom Hearts HD two zero point two Birth by Sleep. <laughs> Are you, are you joking? I don't know if you're joking. I'm not joking. Oh my, my gosh. <laughs> you, wow. I wish. That was amazing. My dude, I wish. <laughs> okay. That was amazing. Oh boy. Thank you. Um, uh, yeah, I think that about... They released all the games on PS4. So. Yeah. I, I think that about rounds up everything. Um, as far as D23. Well, I mean, there's a question that someone asked that's related to it, but there was another disrelated thing that I thought would be interesting to talk about. Okay. And that's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. <gasps> that's right! Having a change. That's right. Um, the ride? Yeah, have you guys heard about this? Disneyland. I know that Johnny Depp actually dressed as Jack Sparrow and stood <laughs> in the ride and surprised people. He did. That would have been mind-blowing. Wow! Okay. Uh, Jeffrey stepped away from the computer real quick. Um, so, basically, for I think it's only changing for Disneyland. Yes, I have your mouth. Oh, okay. I'm um, sorry. Um, basically, um, they're doing a change to the uh, auction scene. Rather than auctioning off women, they're auctioning off uh, like we loot. Want, we want the redhead. We want the redhead. The redhead. Oh my god, the echo. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the redhead woman is going to be a pirate, like a gun-toting pirate that's kind of like, uh, I guess, making sure that nobody gets to steal uh, stuff. But, I don't know. but yeah, yeah, so they're changing that. So it's not going to be We Wants the Redhead anymore. It's going to be uh, We Wants the Loot. Or oh, I get it. Goods. They're going to try and take out the bartering for winsome wenches. At least yeah. they could have said, we want the booty. Yeah. Yeah. What bid ye for this winsome wench? Somebody post, or uh, said this in the in the chat in regards to, they said uh, Pirates of the Caribbean used real skulls and real skeleton bodies. Um, There's back only at- one real skull, right? I think there's only one yeah, left. That's that's what's, yeah, I mean, that's what's been said. There's we we I've talked to a cast member and he says that it's a myth. But he's he was a lame cast member. I've soul. talked to other people at Disneyland, like Walt Disney. And he's he one of those tour guides. Yeah. <laughs> he's a tour guy poser. He didn't know what he was talking about. All right. He gave me attitude. Okay. He told me I didn't yeah, know stuff. Disney used to make up stuff but all the time. The, supposedly the real skull is the one that's 
on the, the bed. headboard, the bed yeah. scene. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the I whole... mean, it looks real. It well, it looks different we'll from any other truth. skull. Um, <laughs> up, me all these yellow. <laughs> I, I will say this: back in the day when um when they first set up the ride, apparently what they did was they bought um what were they um like skeletons used for like universities medical stuff medical yeah yeah yeah. so that's where they i guess they purchased a bunch of skeletons and that's they're like ah it looks real (laughs) um i probably because i'd I'd donate my bones to disney world yeah (laughs) yeah so no it was it was uh an interesting little tidbit there but yeah this whole thing i don't know how i feel about this i feel like I don't know. I just feel like, why? Why are we... I mean, I get why, but at the same time, I'm asking, why do we have to change? I mean, now we don't say we want the redhead anymore. That's sad. <laughs> That's sad to me. Better buy those shirts while they're in stock. I agree. I know. I think sometimes people take PC a little too far. It's like, if you, if you, if you freak out about something too much, it almost makes it more offensive. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I just... That's to me... My- I like I don't know how many children went through Pirates of the Caribbean and then in- instantly went. You know what I want to be when I grow up? A pimp. <sighs> a pimple. A pimple. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop, pop all over the place. And of course, I mean besides me. Like yeah, I had that, but I'm I'm a different case than most. You know so. Yeah. No, I just I don't know. I mean. I get it. I get that they're like they felt the need to change. I'm surprised it was around for as long as it was, to be honest, with all the other yeah, changes. Yeah, but it makes sense to me that they are changing it. Yeah, I mean they they've already changed it to where you know the pirates used to chase the women, then they turned it around to the women chasing the pirates because the pirates are stealing dinner. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, well, they're stealing jewels. Are they? Oh, you know what? Yeah. I think they have her jewelry box in, in, in one hand and then pearls yeah. in the other. Oh, yeah. uh, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There there used They're to be a scene. Smoothly. I think they might be on hoverboards. The scene that I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, as a kid, I was really excited about, was that there's a scene nowadays where there's a guy holding a map and Captain Jack Sparrow pops out of a barrel to look at it. Um, right. Well, that used to be a different scene, very different scene. It used to actually be a guy standing by that barrel holding a dress and just, like, laughing drunkly to himself, yeah. and a naked woman would pop out of the barrel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now that, I wish they still had around. Sarah, why is no. that bad? Why? I, I mean, they're both technically bad, but they're pirates. Like, I... I, I the women one, the thing, the the women's auction, the thing, the solace I get out of it when I see it is that at least like the main women are actually kind of owning it. Yeah. And they're like, oh, totally. But you know, like, it's, it's... the redhead, she's like, oh yeah. And then like the um, I think, I think her name's Tiny. The <laughs> portly the woman. The redhead is showing her leg. The redhead is like showing. And off. yeah, like yeah. you said, the portly woman in the blue dress is like, yo, boys. Show them your larboard side. Show them your larboard side. That's right. But yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. At least for the the like the naked woman thing, I think that one's a little bit much. Oh, I agree. I didn't even know that. That, <laughs> that one was changed a long time ago. Like I, I think yeah. because I. I don't know if I ever saw it with my own eyes. I've seen, I've just seen old footage of the ride, and that's how I knew about yeah. that. And it, it made me sad that it wasn't still like that, because my hormones were excited about it. <laughs> I was like, "That's cool!" Wow. <laughs> um, it looks a lot like Sarah. It. She did. In fact, I think it just was yeah. Sarah. I missed something. We're talking about <laughs> how the woman must have looked like you. Oh. Um. If you got him excited. See? Sarah's really happy uh-huh. that we're acknowledging her beauty. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Okay. Um, so do we want to move on to questions? Yeah, let's do that. Let's. Uh, we're probably not going to do a lot of questions tonight, only because it's almost 8 o'clock already. Time to run over to the question section. 
<laughs> Avast there. It be too late to alter course, matey. And there'll be blundering pirates lurking aboard. Ah, but they do tell tales. So says I. Waiting aboard. Sit closer together. And keep your steady hands in board. So I'm that gonna be get the that best movie way to voice acted entirely by Gabe. When is that gonna happen? And mark well my words, mateys. Dead men. Tell no tells. <laughs> Red man tell no. You be seen an adventure with salty old pirates, eh? Sure, you have come to the proper I, place. I said myself, but you hey. know, dead man tell no. <laughs> <laughs> That's <was> so dumb. <laughs> with both hands, if you please. I'm eating some Skittles, just like the pirates used to. When hinges creak and doors right, question change. Question number okay. one from Shadow Blood. <laughs> um. What would you guys do if you could become your pony OCs and go into the MLP world? I would oh nay. Gosh, I still have one of those. I would nay. I'd find <laughs> Twilight and I'd say, What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would probably just try and find my friends. Yeah, I'd like, be like, Dude, let's try out the new pony bodies. <laughs> you were your pony and what? Pony bodies. I mean, I like, you know, I want to fly. You made yourself an earth pony, which was a mistake. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I should have been an alicorn. <laughs> I guess I just find yeah, a tree and kick it really hard. That's like all earth ponies can do. <laughs> nice. I'd go hang out with that Would I be a griffin or a pony? Huh. I guess that's up to you. Uh, well, your pony OC is, can't be a griffin because it's a pony oh. OC. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Everyone's going to be so pony. confused, Gabe, when you show up and you're like, hi, I'm Black Griffin. And they're like, no, no they you're not. I didn't specify Pony OC. I just put that word. Oh, uh, okay. They just said became your OCs. Oh. Well, then you'd show up and be like, we already got the Gabby episode. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Anybody else have an answer for that question? Uh, nope. <laughs> Sarah, what would you do? <laughs> Sarah? Sarah, what would I, you do? I'd hang out with Applejack. Kelly, do you have one? You'd hang out with Applejack? Nah. Okay. What would you do if I was already hanging out with Applejack? Because I'd make like a beeline to hang out. I know with what Paleo would do. He'd be well, like... Well, then I'd hang out with you and Applejack. Whoa! He would be like, where the <laughs> F are the sea ponies? <laughs> I know you. They're coming. Shoot me too, mother... <laughs> 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 All right. Stubby asks... Um, if Zootopia is a world in Kingdom Hearts 3, would you play it? Mm. Specifically play it towards AC Race Best. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> AC Race Best would have played it anyways. But um, he'd probably play it 50 times if it was... Yes. If it had to just it. that section. Yes. Yeah, so yeah just that, that section. He'd get to that part again. and then he would never finish the I would. I would never always... advance the story. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> he wouldn't want to leave. It's um, true. So I guess in a way he would only play like half of Kingdom Hearts 3 because <laughs> it had a Zootopia world. What yes. Was the first world. Yes. Oh shit. Let me play five minutes of it. <laughs> you can't get money's worth. <laughs> I would be happy. Let's see. Well, we touched on this. Um, as y'all asked, did you know that there's a rumor that a Zootopia theme park in Disney's Animal Kingdom is going to come around oh yes we do know it i and hope but at the same time i'm gonna be excited. sad like because it's in florida and i'm in california and i'm like yeah. damn it that just, means nobody wants star right? wars land just make it zootopia land <laughs> uh, uh drummer asks is spider-man homecoming on uh one of the best spider-man sorry movies of this generation uh from what our conversation was earlier it sounded Sounded like it. Those that have seen it. Yeah. Okay. It was good. Uh, Rosie Diamond asks... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Ross Pitt asks, Despicable Me 3 or Secret Life of Pets? Uh, Despicable, Despicable Me, Me 3. I like that one a little bit better than Secret Life of Pets. So I really? Guess. Really? Hated really? Secret I, Life of Pets. Yeah. I did not enjoy Secret Life of Pets in the slightest. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the same boat. This, I, this, see, here's really? the thing. Yes, yeah, here's the thing. So here's bad. the thing. No, Secret Life of Pets made They're a They're both really bad. Secret but... Life of Pets to me made a much more crucial error than Despicable Me. I just was like it was just 
eh. Like, it was just... It was just like, okay. Uh, D- Secret Life of Pets, I felt like it lied to me before I got there. I felt like it told me that I was going to see a different movie than I got. I was like, what the was, hell? In what way? The the teasers and the, the trailers? I don't know, just the trailers well, I mean, alone. Was, I never saw it, but... What was it about? Was it not? So about so Life? so the teaser. Here's here's the thing, is that first off, it's called Secret Life of Pets. To which they kept saying, "Oh, it's gonna be great. It's just like it's Toy Story, but with pets." Which I think other people were saying that. I'm not saying they said it, but their big like push for this movie was literally ended up being them showing the first part of the movie. That was the trailer. It wasn't bits and pieces of the movie. It was literally. Here's the first 10 minutes of our movie. And I didn't realize that. I thought this was stuff that we were going to explore throughout the movie and be like, oh, that's cool. Instead, that was the beginning of the movie. And then all of a sudden they were like, oh, now we're going to go on this adventure with a bunny that poops. I'm like, all right. (laughs) What? And it just wasn't the story was – there was a moment. I've never had as – like one of the biggest WTF moments I've seen while sitting in a theater – Sarah and I experienced together because it was a scene where they all of a sudden were in a sausage factory and they started like having an LSD moment. Have an acid trip. Yeah. I-, I was like, "What, what is possible? going on?" Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. Plus, funny. the fact that I mean, I don't know. It just, ugh. I, I just don't get. I'm curious because they already have plans to make another Secret Life of Pets. They're making a sequel. The movie was successful domestically. I forget how well it did. It I, I did well enough worldwide, but it was a big success domestically. Yeah, it was in like the top ten last year. <sighs> it beat Zootopia domestically. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, but um. All right. It, that's why you're so mad. <laughs> that's why I'm so mad. But no, the movie. Well, no, I mean, I. Uh, I don't know. I forget Let's what I was even going to say. Let's go to the next question. Oh, my God. I was going to say. Ozzy Al asks, uh, what did you want to see a MLP theme park or attractions, Disney or Universal? I'm well, sorry? it would be Universal <laughs> before it was MLP. I mean, before it's Dis- um, Disney. Because Disney just does everything better. Well, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't know if they'd ever... I don't think they would ever. I make... don't think they. I would. don't think they or Universal will. But if if one yeah. of them were to do it, who would we prefer? I I prefer Disney. If it's preference, Disney definitely. Yeah. Um, is preference see, is he saying or? I want to clarify by the way. I think some people are, I, are a little confused when I say for, it. For, it be... I would say for qual- for quality probably Disney, but for affordability Universal. Oh, good point. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. I was just... Universal Studios is a lot more affordable than Disney. I, I was going to just point out that uh, somebody was, was I think, um, curious what I meant by uh, Secret Life of Pets beating Zootopia. Domestically, monetarily, it made like a, f- a few million dollars more than Zootopia did. Oh, there it is. Someone just posted it. So, yeah, it was $27 yeah, million dollars more. But Secret Life I of Pets is not. I love that the acronym is SLOP. SLOP. Yeah. So, I love wow. it. It so... fits so well. Plus the fact that they had an ad for seeing literally in the middle of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Wow. At least Despicable Me 3 was a little more subtle with its hint. Of the Grinch? There was, of the Grinch, yeah. Yeah. At one point, uh, what's her name? The, the, one, the oldest the throughout, oldest. I think girl. throughout the whole movie she's wearing it. She's wearing a Grinch shirt. She has a shirt, yeah, with the Grinch on it. Were the girls the best part of Despicable Me 3? They were uh, barely in it. That I'm never seeing it. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, they were That's, barely. Like the part I enjoyed about Despicable Me. Actually, you know what's sad is I honestly think the best part of Despicable Me Three was actually the minions. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! All right, next question. Um, Mister No Name, thoughts on Uncle Grandpa ending the finale aired on June thirtieth? Are you glad or sad? I don't care because I never really watched it so i hey, haven't seen it um all right let's see da, 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 da. I, I, okay this one's another one from ozzy all <laughs> i don't understand this one <laughs> ac race Pest, will you discuss topic about bronies review the show while cartoon community review cartoons but never review the show what 
Who asked that? What? Ozzy, y'all. Okay, Ozzy, you got me. (laughs) He's pinned me against a corner. And all I have to say is... Uh... (laughs) That's it. No, I, 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 I'm I, not quite sure how to formulate my answer to, to that one. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll pass. Okay. Um, I want to point out, Jason made me laugh. He said, seeing more like Focus Group, the movie. <laughs> yeah. That, that cracked me up. Crubbers asks, what's, your, what's currently your favorite episode of My Little Pony? Oh, man. Oh, wait. Those things haven't yet right paleo yeah they still haven't aired so for some of us it's an episode that hasn't aired in the u.s um for me currently i i think i'll say i don't know i always i always change my answer to this it's it's i guess it just depends on my mood um right now i'm feeling t-rex episode because i was just like yeah that was pretty awesome i was like the season four finale Thank you. Yes, that one. <laughs> yes, okay, yeah. I've done so many Bronies ranks, I'm losing track of which is which. <laughs> yes. What about you guys, uh, Sarah? I'll probably say a royal problem. Oh. Yeah. Really nice. Good, yeah. Pretty good one. Yeah. Wait, which one was that again? That's one where something happens. A royal problem um, is the one where it involves Luna and Celestia. Oh, the, the big way. The, the, that one. Mm-hmm. The switcheroo. The recent one? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, I don't know, I still, I, I have this, like, nostalgia connected to the older episodes, so I still mm-hmm. kind of lean towards those. You know, Party of One and <clears throat> Lesson Zero and all the ones with numbers. <laughs> 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 I, I, really like, I really like Green Isn't Your Color. That's a classic episode. Oh, that's still your favorite? That's a oh, really wow. good one. Fruit what was what was the name of the episode that uh, they got into Poison Joke? Uh, Bridal Bridal gossip. gossip. God, yeah. I don't I don't hear that one oh, brought up enough. Used. What was that? Not do people not oh, like. I that? like the one with Iron Will. I you really? Yeah. Bridal gossip to <laughs> me was hilarious. Uh, I think out of the ones that have aired, this is, this is, let me not cheat. Uh, I really, really love Amending Fences. That's the season five episode. Oh, with yeah. Uh, Moon Dancer really in it. Good. I really love that episode. I didn't see it yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. it's It'll air soon for Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> season five? <laughs> yeah. No, I, when I went to Germany, I was. That's one thing I had to be careful with is that when I went to Germany um, two years ago, they they're like a season or two behind us. Really? Yeah. So I had to be really careful with what stuff I I talked about. <laughs> yeah. Well, when when Al, when Twilight becomes an alicorn, everyone's like, huh? <laughs> she she's a what? What's an alicorn? <laughs> Man, that was one spoiler that like it was just you could not avoid it. I I, I remember. Yeah, that's back when the Brody community was actually active. The, oh, they're so active. Don't be so dramatic. That, like, the second one person knew, everybody knew. Well, yeah, because everyone's like, no, no, no. I used to follow the meme base, Brony meme base, and that is full of spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's 8 o'clock right now. How many more questions do we want? How many more do we like, have? How, how much longer? How many more do we uh, have? Uh... Actually, not that min. Well, it depends on if anybody's tagged semi perfect pod. Let's see. Uh, there's about maybe eight questions left. Let's hammer through them. We can go through them All quick. Right. Okay. All right. Rosie Diamond says, What's one of your favorite convention moments that not many people have heard or slash know about? Oh, I talk too much, so I don't know if anyone hasn't heard or know about him. <laughs> yeah, true. You vlog everything. So, so I'm going to think of one that hasn't, hasn't. yeah, I'm going to think of one from, from this weekend. Just talked about this weekend for a whole hour when I was away. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> What's your favorite, Sarah? Talk about yours. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, my favorite moment 
Well, but people know about it because it was posted. It's the I'm not wearing a shirt. Wearing a shirt. <laughs> yes, uh, we Equestria. are here. Yes, the yes. Equestria. What I love about that Everybody is that knows about it. you're in the background. Just you look like you're suffering. <laughs> yeah, but it's funny. <laughs> it's in, in, hein- in, in hindsight. Like friends. Yeah, hanging out with friends. Um, I, I one thing I don't talk oh. about a lot, but it it is a lot of. It's it's one thing that's really special, is being able to interact with the people that make the show. Like there there's a lot of whether they're VAs, writers, or whatnot that uh, we sometimes do panels with. Um, that to me is it's just it's real. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool to be able to to talk and I mean we, it's one of those things that we've always discussed is that from, from once you get past the whole like pedestal phase, you realize. Hey, you know everybody's a human, and, and we're all just here having a good time, and so. Yeah. And and I ate old cheese this weekend. <laughs> um, I I've got one that uh, I was so disappointed that race wasn't there to film it. Oh. Uh-huh. Because uh, it was it was like the Thursday before the uh, second MLP S- MSB in uh 2015, mm-hmm. where um me uh, me and Saber were going around the um the Mall of America, and we went into the Lego store. And uh, this was when Jurassic World was uh, was coming out that weekend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, there was a sp- display of a uh, Jurassic World uh, Lego set, <laughs> and he was just looking at it. And then he uh, he tapped his uh, his hand on the display, and like the dis- <laughs> the display of Legos just like fell down and broke apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he just like put his, put his hands over his mouth and said, "It's okay. Jurassic Park is supposed to go wrong." <laughs> <laughs> wow, I forgot about that. Yeah, I, I was so disappointed that you weren't there to film that. Oh man, I uh, I uh, amongst the moments I haven't filmed uh, when we ran into uh, Bonnie Zachary and you know Saber oh, yeah. Saber yeah. threw down the plastic sure. cup. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I already told you mine on like a previous podcast. So I just love going and hanging out. Late late at night when I'm yeah. basically drunk with exhaustion. Yeah. So much fun. Yeah. Uh, there's just been a lot of really good times. Yeah. That's a good question though, I'll as far as like. Shoot Michelle yeah. Mentioned too. What was that? It was it was good to shoot Michelle too. Ah. This last convention. Yeah. I actually shot her right in the face once, and I felt really bad because those nerf darts were no joke. They were, they went really fast. Did, did you feel bad? <laughs> did you feel bad? A li- well, for appearance sake, yeah. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Contractually, you felt bad. Yes. Nora Mermaid asks, uh, this question is for Gabe. What is your favorite th- thing to do on a rainy day? Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's actually a rainy day today, and I'm about to go do my favorite thing after this podcast. I like to go uh, outside and like to run in the rain. There's just something really fun about running in the rain. Or sometimes I like to ATV if it's like there's big puddles, but it's gonna be dark, so I don't like to, to do that. Gabe, dark, you're such a control the sliding. You're such a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to run. Yeah, that that's probably my favorite thing. I, I I have to be outside when it's raining. It's just this weird primal instinct. So um, we live in like a valley here, and <laughs> the other morning. There was this huge clap of thunder that just roared throughout the entire valley. And every it was just one. It was just one, but everybody heard it. It woke everybody up. And cuz everyone at work was talking about it. I'm like, "Oh, so it was all over the place." Um that came out of nowhere. But I, you know what I like <laughs> to do on rainy days? Hmm. Nothing. Yeah, well, Nora Mermaid didn't ask you anyways. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Ross Pitt asks, "What is something you find is overhated?" Hated? Oh yeah, boy, I don't want to say it. I don't say it, because <laughs> everyone here probably hates it too. Like the only person in the nerd community that likes it. Personally, the Big Bang Theory. Eh, oh, I gotta yeah. like it. That, that, that. <laughs> Sarah likes it, I think. Uh, my my family watched it, and it, I mean, I enjoy it just fine. I, I don't really have that much of a problem with I, it. I'm gonna say, <laughs> I, I'm gonna say, <laughs> Starlight Glimmer. Um, I'm gonna say the the Cars franchise. Oh yeah, why do people hate that? Because it's Pixar. <laughs> uh, uh. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but, and I'm including the Planes movies in that. Do I think, you like the Planes really? movies? I'm not saying that like I'm sticking up for them. I just don't think they warrant the hate that they get. They're you, not. You they're know, not say, terrible they're, movies. They're, you know what I'm going to say that corresponds with something that was said earlier in this chat? Huh. Or in this uh, podcast? What's that? Secret Life of Pets. At least, <laughs> at least for the people in here. Like, I don't think it's intended by a lot of people. But I, I understand the hate. I, I think like, we're going to find out. The, I, I know you understand it. Um, yeah. I was going to say earlier, I'm curious to see how the sequel does. Because I think a lot of people are now aware of what type of movie they're getting. And yeah. I'm curious to see if it just tanks the way I expect but it to. The the other uh, animated film that I was going to say is uh, Frozen. I I don't think it's really that deserving of all the hate it gets. It's it's not the movie's fault. I I feel yeah. like it's more of how overdone Disney. How how oversaturated. You know what I've heard? Yeah. I've heard actually. So one thing that Disney's doing with Frozen, they have a short, it's like 20 minutes long coming out, and it's Olaf learning about all the holidays, and they're putting it before Coco coming out later, because... Yeah, yeah. They don't now, faith in that movie. you know what's interesting about this? I kid you not, the whole reason we figure why they did that is so, maybe they're a little bit worried that people right. aren't going to be rushing out to see Coco. So, oh, let's give an extra incentive for people to go out and see it. However, I have seen people saying, you know what? If there's going to be a 20-minute Frozen special featuring Olaf, I might just wait for the <laughs> DVD to come out for Coco. Oh, no, it might backfire. <laughs> might oh, actually. I'm not personally an Olaf fan. I think he's the worst part of the movie, so that might actually be me. There you go. <laughs> I don't. I like. I I remember. But, but kid, little kids love Olaf, though. Right. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> you was like. So it might it might do well for that reason. More power to them. More power to little kids, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. So Jazz King plays asks, "What's your favorite unspoken rule?" Oh. Uh... Don't pee next to the person. I was gonna do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't pee next to the person uh, in the urinal. If there's the like, urinal next uh, to you. So, the totally. urinal no to one you, follows yeah. that stupid rule. For the record, I am a person who knows that that's an unspoken rule. And I don't care. Do it anyway. No, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't like... You the leg of the person in the urinal next to you. I figure at least if there's at least one space between that, that should be fine. But I also am like not like terrified to go between two burly men and take a whiz. Please, they just away. look down <laughs> upon me and I look up at them and we <laughs> share a moment while we piss. <laughs> Those golden uh, showers of relation. Please don't say golden showers. Oh, God. Water <laughs> sports of relation. I'm going to stop saying that. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. Uh, all right. Um, Alexa Prime asks uh, a question for Gabe. I'm just getting started with singing. I'm decent, but do you have any advice for newbies like me? Alex! Alex is an amazing artist, and he's mm -hmm. awesome. You guys should check out his work because it's really good. Yep. Alex, <clears throat> um, advice? Um, honestly, just do it a lot. I think the the, the 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 general rule is you're not a master. You've done it for 10,000 hours. So start building up hours. Sing a lot and also try to record yourself. Because honestly, the best uh, critic of your own singing is you. But it's hard to actually tell what you sound like until you hear a recording back. Because our brain kind of weirdly translates our voice a little bit. Because it's kind of transferring through bone into our eardrum. And not we don't hear it the same way everyone else does. So um, I say record yourself. Um, Record, like, if there's a specific song that you like to listen to, maybe try to cover that, sing that. Listen back, find the things, the specific things you don't like about um, your voice, and then just do it again until you figure out how to work those out. And, and again, just like any muscle, uh, the more you practice, the better you'll get. So that is assuming you can carry a tune. If you can't carry a tune, then that, that takes more work. But, yeah, that's my, my <laughs> two cents. Tunes are heavy. All right. I think this one's going to be the closing question right here. All right. Here Sketchy we go. Sketchy asks, another great artist, Sketchy. 
yes. asks, can you do, uh, to Black Griffin, can you do an impression of the Hitler from the producers? Um, Please sing Springtime for Hitler. <laughs> oh, but but Will Ferrell doesn't sing Springtime for Hitler. <clears throat> he sings, um, um, Guten Tag, hop, clap, Guten Tag, clap, clap, ach, der lieber uns, oh boy. <laughs> Wir essen und tressen und tanzen und trinken, tanzen und trinken until we get stinken. Everybody! <laughs> And now it's springtime for Hitler and Germany. Am I the only one doing the legs right now? <laughs> yes. I love that. We're marching to a faster pace. Look out, here comes the master race. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> well, on that note, are uh, we wrapping it up here? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Live stream wrap up. Live stream wrap up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here. We will be back in two weeks. That will be July 26th, I believe. That would be, yep. Yeah, July 26th. So we'll see you guys in two weeks. Take care. I want to thank everybody that was on the podcast here tonight. Black Griffin. <gasps> Hirosashi. Hello. Paleo goodbye. Stino. <laughs> hello. And goodbye. Why is everyone saying hello? Toodles. <laughs> Bye. And I'm AC Race Best. You guys all have a good night. Thank you for joining us. And I promise we will not have audio issues next time. Knock on wood. Hopefully I'm not lying. Good night, everybody. Audio issues. Uh, what, Sarah? What audio issue? Nothing. Uh, in end the stream. End. The, oh, I I can end the stream. Uh, no audio issues. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs>